President Biden is waking up this morning after delivering the final State of the Union address ahead of the 2024 election. He spent the speech promoting his accomplishments in office as he prepares to head out on the campaign trail. Dr. Lee Hanna, political science professor at Wright State University, joins us live this morning to break this all down for us. Lee, we appreciate you stopping by. A big speech last night for President Biden. He's been struggling in the polls, but my question to you is, do you think that his speech helped him restart his campaign? Yeah, it's a great question. And I think because of the timing of this speech and because of, of all of the noise we've been hearing about concern over his age, over his you know ability to, to win re-election, and not just from Republicans, the noise might be louder from Democrats. I think for all of those reasons, the goal last night was really to come out and show that he can uh, do what he needs to do when he's on the campaign trail. And, and campaigns, while they are about substance and platform, we all know a lot of campaigns are about optics. They're about um, being a high energy candidate, um, you know, appearing vigorous and, and everything else. And so I think in that way, while people may have issues with the decorum or the substance of, of the, the speech, I think if you just look at, at Biden's performance, um, I think his team has to be heartened. I think that Democrats have to at least be a little more hopeful after that performance last night. A lot of the lead up to the speech was focused on Biden's age as continued to dominate uh, the polls. But he also laid out uh, as he defended his age, he laid out his you know main priorities for this election. Mm -hmm. What are the some of the issues that you see dominating the election cycle for the next couple of months? Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is so rare, too. We've never had an incumbent run against a former president, not since Benjamin Harrison against Grover Cleveland. And we don't have that speech on tape. So um, it was interesting to hear Biden reference Trump so often. He never said his name, but he said my predecessor over and over. I pay attention to the order of the speech because I think people start to go to bed and tune out. And so he leads with Ukraine. He moves into reproductive rights and um, in particular in vitro fertilization because that's become a major issue um, and then he moved into the border crisis and so he is both trying to compel congress to, to do something on some of these issues um, as you know their major bills before them but i think he is also laying out what we will probably see as kind of the theme of his campaign um, and some of the key issues and what he led with last night it has been interesting to see how the State of the Union has changed over the last decade. How has the tone changed? And I guess, have we kind of steered away from, I guess, civil politics and entered a new era? It has certainly changed um, pretty quickly. And um, I, I think in a couple of ways, I mean, certainly last night, you had Marjorie Taylor Greene in a full uh, Donald Trump MAGA outfit and, um, you know, which does violate the quorum. Um, there was another member there who was also kind of dressed up in, in Trump regalia. Um, the chance of four more years from the Democrats, um, the Republicans did that in 2020 during the State of the Union, but I think that's the first time we've had um, these, these events look like campaign rallies. And then, you know, Biden at times even goaded the Republicans and there, there was back and forth. And, and most of that is, is, is quite new. I can think of when um, when Joe Wilson yelled, you lie, in the middle of uh, Barack Obama's State of the Union, and people felt that that was kind of uh, you know a new level. Um, and I think also normally the opposition party still has some things to stand up and clap for. And over time, we've seen that, you know, if you went back and watched Clinton, um, you know, Newt Gingrich is standing and clapping for a third of what he's saying because it's things about like ending poverty, taking care of children, you know, these real popular things. Um, if we look last night, I don't think Mike Johnson, uh, the, the, the new speaker, um, stood and applauded, nor did the majority of Republicans for, for any policy issue, even ones that should not be partisan. Um, so it is a, a rapid change and it shows the polarization um, goes to these uh, these events that used to be kind of shrouded in decorum. Well, Lee, we are eight months away from the general election. We're going to be talking to you a lot. We appreciate your expertise as always this morning. Thank you so much.